Haiti, so she assists locals in acquiring sewing skills, hoping they can become self-reliant. Siji volunteers help clean up Mr. Chen's messy home and continue to care for his disabilities. Welcome to Headlines, I'm Hu Chao. Glad to have you here. Siji assists Haiti and provides residents with vocational training, hoping that they can become self-reliant. After the sewing class resumed training once more, every student returned to make their own dresses and skirts. Especially during the pandemic, since there was a shortage of masks, the students filled the needs by sewing cloth masks in order to battle the epidemic. It's with a sense of joy and pride that today we're closing the first stage of the cutting and tailoring training for mothers in La Saline. So far, we have spent four months learning. We have done a lot. When we arrived, we knew nothing about sewing. I am proud of them because when they arrived, they had no skills in this field. About four months later, they are making these beautiful skirts. I feel great because I knew nothing about sewing. I didn't even know the basics. Now, thanks to God, I can make masks, skirts that need two measurements, such as pretty skirts and basic skirts. We started by making masks, which was a success. Then we proceeded to make different models of skirts. Our teacher told us all of this. Before, they didn't know how to use the sewing pedal. They didn't know how to operate the electric sewing machine. Now, they've mastered the use of a sewing machine. The goal was for them to be able to make dresses, shirts that they and their kids, husband, family members, friends, and others can wear. We are really proud of them. I feel great. I managed to do it, and everything was good. Thanks to God and the team in charge of this program. Through this profession, they'll be able to regain their dignity and pride and feel integrated into the community, into society, and become autonomous. I would like to say a big thank you to all the teachers who help us and members of the organizations because today is a big day I never expected. I'm very proud of myself. In the Philippines, Tsuji volunteers went to the poorest township of Pampanga province in central Luzon. Volunteers distributed rice, living supplies, and visited a polio villager. He told volunteers that the rice tasted really good which made volunteers happy. Muffins suffering from polio, waiting across water to go out the house and rely on tricycle to survive. Due to the pandemic, income has been reduced and the lack of food makes life difficult. Before the pandemic, tricycles were doing well. I used to earn 800 pesos or more a day. Now that we're in a pandemic, I make 300 to 400 pesos, and I work until the evening. This is the poorest area in Pampanga province. As long as it rains, it will be flooded, causing poverty and hunger everywhere. These villagers are the poorest and most in need of help here. We discovered that there are many deaths among the residents who are out of work now. Because of the pandemic, they were originally drivers, but now they are out of work. Carrying a bag of rice and daily necessities, this journey home is filled with fragrancy of rice. A big thank you that I became part of the relief distribution of Tsuji Foundation. It's a big deal for me. I already cooked the rice I received earlier. It tastes so good. Chuchi helps so many people in the whole world. I like. So this time, uh, since last year, I'm a volunteer. I'm joining the volunteer. So I'm joining for the Chuchi volunteers home visit. I'm very proud. So I can do it, pala. So if I'm joining the Chuchi, 
So it's, I'm very happy. I can help. When love turns into action, it forms the most beautiful moment in the world. In Taiwan, a medical device manufacturer donates hyperlight disinfection robot to Ziji as it was transferred to Chinese General Hospital in the Philippines. Let's take a look. A thank you certificate is presented to a volunteer via an online meeting. Please rise, Ms. Jiang Xinhui. Please pick up your certificate and take a photo with everyone. A medical device manufacturer in Taiwan donated Hyperlight disinfection robot to Ziji, hoping to help large-scale hospitals. The disinfection robot Hyperlight is highly effective to eliminate over 99% of viruses and bacteria, especially for the multi-drugs-resistant organism. This robot can be installed in COVID ward, CT room, ICU, and sometime in the waiting room. After both Ziji Philippines chapter and manufacturers reached an agreement, the devices are then donated to the Chinese General Hospital. You know, usually the old UV light numbing takes about uh, half an hour to sterilize one room. I heard from the manufacturer that it's five minutes. So it will make it available to all the patients' room, no? so the turnover time will be significantly shortened. And that's a lot of help for us. Thank you, Ziji, for connecting everyone and to support people suffering in the Philippines with care and love. During the pandemic, we need everyone's power in order to reduce the loss of lives. Under the fierce pandemic, if medical resources can be delivered to places that need it, more people can be saved, as it will also protect us from the virus. The Ziji Medical Foundation of the United States has passed the FQHC federal certification. Ziji volunteers are also invited to share the display of Ziji's medical humanities. Coming up? No. For patients who are not breathing, performing CPR and AED are first aid methods before they reach the hospital. These are the training courses for Ziji Medical Foundation to strengthen safe functions, efficiency and services. Our employee training today mainly requires some training courses for employees who meet the requirements of FQHC, including HIPAA, OSHA, and some like CPR. Ziji Medical Services currently serves mostly low-income households. Humanistic period is also implanted between medical and sickness. Today, I invited some relevant Ziji volunteers to share their experiences so that participants can better understand what is called Ziji Humanities. We hope they will bring this concept into their daily work. This is a great opportunity for people to see each other face to face. We're usually so busy at work, we don't have time to interact. So this is a non-working, relaxed environment where everyone can just enjoy themselves and get to know each other better. For nonprofit organizations, in order to protect health of the patients and give them care, it is even more important for employees and volunteers to integrate one mind. Stomach cancer ranks eighth in the causes of death in Taiwan, with only a 2.5% survival rate for patients suffering from a five-year stage four stomach cancer. But at Taichung Ziji Hospital, the survival rate jumps up five times. At the hospital, Ye Zhang Xiu Zhi is a patient of Dr. Yu Zhenzhan. And besides helping the patient out by using immunotherapy, he also saved the patient as she is now living a healthy life. Ye Zhang Xiu Zhi suffered from stage 4 stomach cancer as she experienced vomiting blood. After removing two-thirds of her liver, chemotherapy, and targeted therapy, nothing proved to help her situation. Originally, she was almost moving into a palliative care ward. She even wrote a death note. But under the care of a doctor, Yu Zhenzhan, her situation improved. I got injections and tubes or hanging everywhere. There were five injections per therapy session. I didn't think of giving up this time, but under the doctor Yu's sincere care, I got better. He told me, I'm not kicking you out of the hospital, what you worry about. He works all day, all year, providing us with a sense of comfort. Following Taichung Ziji Hospital Surgery Department's director, Yu Zhenzhan,
the doctor used both medicine and targeted therapy on patient Ye Zhang Xiuzhi as she was close to moving into a palliative care ward. But through Dr. Yu's care, Ye Zhang Xiuzhi recovered through immunotherapy. At 70 years old, she's able to smile once more and continue living. Actually, she has a very serious condition. Theoretically speaking, she needs to have her liver removed, making it easy for doctors to perform surgery. But Dr. Yu thinks that if they can preserve just a tiny part of the liver, it can still function and help the person. Dr. Yu never wants to give up and really cares for the patient. Now, Ye Zhang Xiuzhi, besides going back to the hospital regularly for checks, her cancer cells are gone from her body. For Dr. Yu Zhenzhan, surgeries only solve the first critical phase of patients. What's more important is support from cancer foundations, accompanying cancer-affected patients on their road to recovery. My favorite ancient scholar is Su Shi. Although he faced multiple downs in his life, even going to jail or nearly losing his life, he remained optimistic, very optimistic. We must learn from him and broaden our horizons, which will improve our concept of time and space. Therefore, you won't have disputes regarding gaining or losing things. Taichung Ziji Hospital Surgery Department's director, Yu Zhenzhan, hopes to see his patients continuing their lives and live a good life with such good intentions. He also improved his medical skills, utilizing both his profession and ability to help patients alleviate their pain. Living in a home filled with garbage, most people will refuse to enter. However, a Tsuji volunteer is willing to help out, from cleaning, caring, and bringing the 64-year-old Mr. Chen out of the house back into a normal routine. Because he doesn't have teeth, only one tooth left, we must cook kanji for him to eat. Because Mr. Chen's wife left him with three children after divorce, for 30 years they never contacted each other. The entire room was filled with spiders crawling around, big spiders, not small ones. When I was cleaning, I found five rats. Mr. Chen sleeps in there, in the garbage. Yes, he sleeps with rats. I really feel pity and bad for him. This meal is provided by a kind person. After he finished the meal, he will put the bowl on the table or the ground. If I have time, I will pick it up and recycle them. The social wheel department told us that Mr. Chen has signs of incapacitation. This is because he does nothing all day, so his body will deteriorate. The bull has been left here for three or four days. I told him to pick it up, but he told me that he has a stroke and is unable to bend over to pick it up. The truth is, he is just too lazy to pick it up. 
。袂嘛，安尼等咱像咧运动啊，对无吼？咱人嘛是安那运动一个啊，跳一个，安尼举一个，对无？嘿啊，安、啊、尼你就当等咱遮举一个来。Sister Gui Xiang is like Mr. Chen's older sister teaching her younger brother. Because he doesn't listen sometimes, Sister Gui Xiang will get mad, but she is still willing to provide care. If not, no one will care for Mr. Chen. <laughs> 好，好啊，真安尼有介意无？有吼，啊面刚唔免客气，他们啊动就来做，好不？好，啊你要甲伊讲什么？啊你爱甲我讲啥？哈哈哈！ In Sanxia, city volunteers mobilized 50 to 60 people to help a family and clean up the objects that have been hoarded for 30 years. Because of the enthusiasm and love among the neighbors, the appearance of the house has changed. 这三十年来都没有办法去好好改变整理的状况。If there is no way to do it, the city will help. 一包一包向前行，祝贺菩萨健康拢用健哈。Finally，there is a passage at home，and feel the blessing at the moment of stepping outside。Because of you, we have a way to go so smoothly, to have a safe and clean environment, and to provide a clean space for us to live. The owner's feet are not easy to walk, and there is no way to deal with it. See if we can help. After receiving the appearance of the home, the heart of the homeowner and her son open up. According to her research, a single rice weevil consumes up to 54 grams of rice per lifespan which is slightly less than the weight of one grace grain. Female rice weevils produces approximately 140 rice weevils, as these newborn rice weevils will go on to repeat the cycle, consuming over 100 tons of rice. A rice weevil expert in Taiwan, Yao Meiji, has 30 years of research in the field of rice weevils. He hopes to bring proper rice weevil prevention knowledge to the public. Here's more. After being disturbed, hundreds of rice wheels burst out from the oats. Look at this. Every single rice weevil is at the surface. It's like saying hello to you. Walking into the rice wheel asper, Yao Meiji's office, we are able to see rice wheels models and his research results. Looking at this bag, it's hard to tell what is inside of it. Looking at the bag in my hand, guess what's inside? Do you have any answers? It's not flour, it's actually a bag hosting millions of rice wheels. Millions of rice wheels are very frightened. These pads create damages, they vary from high to low, but what most don't realize is that we might have eaten rice wheels while consuming food. The eggs are hatched in the holes of a rice hole. We dug a hole in it so that the rice weevils will hatch eggs inside the hole. Under a microscope, these white and transparent eggs are rice wheels larvae. Adult rice wheels often draw a hole on a piece of rice grain and spawn eggs inside. Afterwards, the rice wheel will cover up the hole. 
making the rice seem like its original state. So honestly speaking, the chances of us eating rice weevils by accident are actually very high. After picking rice wheels out, the task isn't over yet. Asper suggests that consuming rice wheels is not lethal to the human body, but what we have to do is observe the rice change in quality. If there are too many rice weevils, it will affect rice quality, making rice either wet or too hard. At this stage, I wouldn't recommend consuming that kind of rice. A tiny rice wheel reproduces at a fast rate. One female rice wheel produces up to hundreds of eggs, and on an average, one female rice wheel can raise 140 rice fields. One rice wheel eats up to 54 grains of rice. And though it's not even near the weight of one grain of rice, if left unintended, the sixth generation of rice wheels can consume up to 184 tons of rice, causing much damage to farmers. Firstly, we will open the vent. This is mainly for us when we are filtering rice, and it prevents dust from flying everywhere. So I'll open this first to suck out all the dust. In TAI's laboratory, researchers receive rice samples from the all over Taiwan. Moving on, researchers act as detectives, finding out the cause of troubles. We will calculate this bag and see how many types of rice weevils are in there. Then we will record everything onto the paper. Unhealthy rice palm, besides having too many rice wheels, rice wheel eating animals will also be around affecting the environment. The products produced in an unhealthy rice palm will ultimately affect our health. We will bring this over to filter rice at the rice barn, then bring back some rice weevils to study. Sometimes, after filtering, I found out that my hand has many red dots. These dots are bites from mites. For over 30 years, Yao Meiji studied rice wheels. Newcomers at the laboratory studied hard in school as they thought they were ready for the real task. But after entering the lab, they find out the rice wheel research is a very complicated task. Although I studied in the Department of Entomology, a department that studies insects, but actually there were no teachers teaching us about rice pests. I have never seen rice weevils before. So after coming here, I found out that there are actually a lot of types of rice weevils. According to the researchers done 40 years ago, in every 100 kilograms of rice, around 5 kilograms of rice will be eaten by rice wheels. Though recently, numbers have dropped to under 2 kilograms. If we remove the past tag from rice wheels, they are just part of the food chain. Therefore, it's important to understand rice wheels and prevent them with proper techniques in order to safeguard our health. In the United States, Walnut City, Zijie opened a farmer's market, hoping to gather charity funds for COVID-19 vaccinations and to also promote healthy vegetarian food. Besides selling products from a local farm, another organic farm from Los Angeles also sponsored vegetables for the event. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.